Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this episode we're going to do a um, 2001 Dodge Dakota. It's a, uh, a lift kit. I think it's only a couple inches. Uh, the torsion bar, you switch out the torsion bar, keys and the blocks in the back. We've already done the blocks in the back. Um, I had some issues with my camera again, unfortunately, but anyways I'm going to take you back and show you what I've done in the back and then we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, I'll show you what we're doing in the front here. Let's take you to the back first here. Okay, in the back here, all I done was I just took out the um, the factory U-bolts and then the kit came with the, those blocks there. You just put them in on top of the rear end between the spring and it came with the new uh, shackle bolts. But that's, that's basically all it was, but we didn't miss too much here. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the front together. I think somebody was saying on a, uh, look how much it's brought up that back. We're gonna try to level out that front maybe, maybe get a little rake in it, but we'll see what, what it looks like. But I think somebody said that the, uh, the front shocks may need some kind of a, uh, uh, a plate of some sort to extend the, the shock range a little bit. Well, we're getting ready to find out. I think what they done was is right there on the uh, lower controller arm, it's like a little plate they add in to raise the, uh, the shock up a little bit. I doubt that it's gonna raise it that high, but we'll see. If so, I'll make something. We'll go ahead and fabricate a little bracket or something to put in there. But uh, let's go ahead and get right on it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna raise this thing up and get the, the front end suspended where the wheels are just hanging. And uh, I think we might have to do it with the tall jacks. We'll see here. I like to set up uh, a jack on the front and the rear of the lift just for extra safety. I just put a little bit of weight off of it here. That way I feel safer. All right, we're going to put these uh, extenders on here. Get this front end up in here. I got the back wheels chopped, and then we'll uh, get the frame suspended where the wheels are just hanging. Oop. Gotta get my air on there. All right, we're gonna get underneath here and get this uh, the jack stand set up here. I'm gonna take you guys over there. Gotta get that thing out of the way of that portion bar. Alright, let's go on the front here. I'm probably gonna pull these front wheels off. That way we got when that jack comes down, it can drop a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna lube these down a little bit. Put a little luby-dooby, as uh, Puddin calls it, from the Puddin channel. Puddin's fabricating, pretty cool channel. You guys ain't seen that, go check it out. I like watching him, he's pretty crazy. But anyways, we'll 
lube all that up real good. And then we'll take a, I think it's a 24 millimeter. Yeah, 24 millimeter. So what we're gonna do is, I got this tool, and you just put it, it hooks around the top of this frame here. Boy, that's a little, I might have to try to find another clamp. Let me look for another clamp, I'll be right back. Okay, so this one here don't fit up around the, around the top of this cross member. So I went down the Harbor Freight and I'm gonna try to modify this eight inch a little bit somehow to work. We'll see how it goes here. We'll probably try to knock this off because it's got a nipple in it just like that one does. And then uh, I'll probably try to beef it up a little bit. Maybe weld some bracings to the sides and uh, put a little stronger leverage on this uh, little slider here. All right, so we'll go for it. Yeah, I just knocked that little, that, that flat part off that ball with the hammer, it came right off. I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit and then hit it with the, with the impact, see what it does. Yeah, I think we're on there, pretty good pretty good amount. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Let me let me clean that up them threads on that a little bit. All right guys, so we got the um, we got all the the keys or the the set screws removed on both sides of the torsion keys. The problem we're having is they're completely rusted and seized. Yeah, so they're completely seized up in these lower control arms on both sides. I've tried everything. I don't want to heat them because these bushings here, they got, well, they're bushings, so I'm afraid I'll mess them up, so. And the back uh, torsion plate or cross member, it's not a bolt in. Like some of the GMs and Tahoes and stuff like that, you could take the bolts out and then you could get it, move them just enough to get the keys out. Well, not on this one. So I'm gonna wait and see what the customer says here. I'm waiting for him to call. I'm gonna try to drop these lower controller arms enough to where I can just slide them forward and get the uh, keys out, put the new uh, keys in, and then put it back together. So hopefully that works out. This tool worked out great. Uh, I'll show you when I'm putting it back together. I am gonna do something with this lower uh, bar here. I think I'm going to put a weld a nut on the end so I can just do it with a socket. But other than that, I'll be back with you guys shortly here. I'm waiting on a phone call from him to give me the go ahead and we'll get back to it. Alright everybody, it's another day. Uh, we did get a call from the uh, customer. He said go for it. Um, I'm going to kind of go over it a little bit and show you guys what we have to do to get this thing to change out these keys in the back where the uh, uh, torsion bars were seized into the lower controller arms. Give me a second and I'll take you over. Okay, just a quick recap there. That key is just so seized in in there. I've tried everything but heating it, but if you look right here, there's a, there's a bushing. There's a bushing in there, and I don't want to heat a whole bunch there and mess that bushing up, so... I'm going to drop these uh, lower control arm bolts, try and take apart as less as we have to, but I think I'm going to have to take apart just about all of it. I mean, the way, the way I have to drop it down and move it forward to get that key in the back back there. Let's see if I can't. Uh, yeah, so let's get on it and see how, see how much we got to get into here. Let me get it set back okay. up here. I'm going to go ahead and start getting this thing apart here. I took some of the cotter keys out and the, the caliper out of the way just to get going on it and the shock mount. Well, I 
know this stuff is so rusty. I sprayed it all down yesterday. Try to get it somewhat penetrated. Seems better. And I hate the way this thing rocks on these stands. Okay. Got that loose, that loose. Try to bust some of these loose here. I'll try this. If not, we'll get a hammer, but it's kind of noisy. Let's see what we can do here. If I can get on that one good, I'll try it this way. Yeah, I kept hitting on it with the air hammer. It was already broke loose. There we go. All right. Let's drop these uh, lower control arm bolts. That, that ball joint's kind of got to tell him about that. He might need to get a new one. It's on its way, is what it is. But I think on these controller arms, I don't know if they're pressed in or if you got to buy the whole controller arm or not. I have to look into that. Let me let this down a little bit. Yeah, I only need that to move probably a half inch forward to get that key in. So it ain't much. Try to pry that down some. And that might do it. That figures. Yeah, we're right there, so. go too far like I said I just want it to be able to swap this key out oh man we're so close come on a little bit more every time I hit this thing the whole thing rocks there we go. Ah, just a hair. Come on, baby. Are you kidding me? It's got one little burr on it. That's got to be it. Watch that thing fall on my head. 
Ooh. There we go. Get this one in place. Bang that back in. Just so we don't lose that key. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's get this back in place and then I'll show you guys back here. Get ready to lose my tool. in oh. Just get that in there <laughs> right in there Take the lower control arm off, the lower control arm off. So obviously both of them bolts and all this stuff. And we had to knock that forward to be able to get this key in here. Everything's in there good. Yeah, see on some of these, you can take this, uh, uh, this, I can't think today, the mount, the, the cross member off it's bolted in like on GM's and Tahoe's and stuff some of them you can just unbolt these and you can knock them back you can knock them back far enough where your keys will pop out well on this one if you look it's welded in and you ain't doing that on this one and so that's why we had to go through what we had to go through here unfortunately those things were so seized in there I tried I mean I really tried I I think I messed with it for a good hour trying to get that thing out of there soaking it hitting it soaking it air hammer whatever i could so i'll bring you guys back here in a few let me get it somewhat back okay together. i got it all back together got both keys in i repeated the uh, process for the other side did the same stuff i had to draw out these bottom ball joints on both sides the cotter keys was rusted in them so but I got all that going, got all the cotter keys back in, everything's tightened up. Like I said, we've done both sides. I didn't put my uh, sway bar back in yet because um, I think it'll be easier to set these uh, keys in the back without it. It's just my, my guess, I don't know. But we got both sides done. Um, I'm going to set it up here in the back. I got my uh, homemade clamp on there. We'll get it all set up back here and I'll bring you guys back and we'll get these keys all bolted in. Put a little bit of right back. grease on this, on this bottom, on this uh, little swivel or bevel of this bolt. I didn't get any kind of, most of these kits come with like a where quarter inch from here to there they give you a starting point but I didn't have that in this kit I don't know if they have it or or what but we're gonna go with it and just adjust accordingly what I'm gonna do is what I was attempting to do is tighten a little on this tighten a little on the bolt I went a little too fast there kind of walk it up slowly
I got them both set to an inch and a half from the, I'll show you here. Try to get up here and here. Okay. I measured from from this bottom base here up to that up to the cross member there in between there I measured an inch and a half on both sides so I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna get the sway bar back on the wheels on it and we'll drop it down and see what it looks like and then we can adjust from there and see how close we are but I'll bring you guys back here shortly all right everyone so we got her back down on the ground I think it's standing pretty nice it's looking pretty good um, everything's tightened back up everything went together well I wish it would have went a little different with those with those uh, those uh, those bars but yeah I think it looks pretty good we're getting ready to go we also bled the brakes and readjusted the back ones yeah I think it turned out really good it's sitting nice I mean I can't believe how much just putting them keys in did that much of a you know a lift usually you got to go through you know like rough country and all them they make the you got to change out the front part of the you know front end and all kind of stuff this thing's still got good sh uh, shock travel uh, the shock travel still good even in the back believe it or not yeah it sits pretty good I think now he can put on some good wheels and get it you know it'll look nice all right everyone close off with the recap there uh, yeah so we had to end up making a this thing here I went down to Harbor Freight and got an 8 inch just a regular clamp there and cut out some plates on my plasma machine and sturdied it up I clamped it to the vehicle where it would sit at and then I just took some paper paper templates and you know made it to where it fit nice and still had a nice opening here for other vehicles too but yeah this thing works great I'm gonna clean it up pull this back out I'm actually gonna make a uh, a better acme thread rod here out of some stronger steel this one bent a little bit but instead of trying to straighten it i'm going to pull it out and make a make a nice one for it and change this to with more leverage because i had to put that wrench on there if you guys remember to get it to tighten up but oh no that thing didn't i mean it did the, it did the trick so it beats buying a big expensive one but yeah i appreciate all the all the views and the shares and the, and the likes uh Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave something in the comments there if you want to see something else. I'd be happy to do something, you know, make a video for you guys. So I'm just going to probably do some random stuff here. I think I'm going to, I mentioned in, in uh, earlier videos there um, about that vice build. I'm going to build that vice. I need to go down and get some uh, some square tubing from um, Super Metal, Metal Market. Um, and just get get what I need there and I got to get a couple of bearings and stuff but I'm gonna try to get all that stuff round up and then we'll get that going as well but yeah like I said till the next one I really appreciate it guys thank you